Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We're going to look at smart sorting with tags in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, I was talking to uh, Jeremiah Monorat, who was asking me about uh, how he organizes tags in DaVinci Resolve and uh, FCPX. And he uses a tag-based workflow where he adds uh, location, main character, basic storyline, and then makes smart bins and searches for them. Well, guess what? I've come up with a workflow very much like that same thing. So let's go have a look. All right, I'm gonna start by bringing in uh, some media here. I'll just import that. And I'm going to add a new metadata category. And I added a, pro a property and this new property is text and the new property is called tags. Click OK and then I've got it. I'm going to turn this on and click OK. So this is open to any text, alphanumeric text that you want to enter inside. And I can enter uh, the camera shot, the actor name, time of day, um, all of those things. So by default, that category is way over here on the right hand side. So if I want to move this on the left, I'm gonna maximize that frame and I can do that here in the group settings, maximize, or I can tap the tilde key on a North American keyboard and I can drag that over here. All right. So if I double click on this, I can see this is Joe and this is Waylon. So I can type Waylon and I'm separating these by comma, Waylon, Joe. Um, this is an interior shot and it's day and I could load the second one and start doing that for each one of them. I also wanna show the metadata panel up here. And whenever you click on a clip, you'll see the metadata panel showing you uh, three different categories. We're not gonna worry about speech analysis, but there is a clip category and a uh, file category. The differences here are anything in the clip category is saved in the Premiere Pro project. It's not with the clip itself on the desktop or on the disk. The file properties are, and there are some properties. If I scroll down here and you can see tape name, description, comment, there's a link over here on the right. And when I click on that, that will link the clip uh, property to the file property. So it will be written to the actual disk. That means that if I bring this clip in somewhere else, those file properties will be in here. The tag information that I'm adding is based on the project and, and you can import from other projects if you want, but this is the, the data is not saved at the file level. You won't see the, the uh, tag uh, category here because I have to actually add that again. So this is in the metadata display and I'll turn that on. I only have to add it once and then I turn it on for each category. So now you can see when I click on this, there's the metadata tag information. All right, let me open up another project where I've done all of this work. All right, so there's all the clips, all of the tag information that I've added for those clips. And I've added a couple of smart bins here. And, and if we look at the Whalen one, if I double click on this, you'll see that's the main character here. You can see every one of the clips that he appears in has been tagged. And the way to do that, I'm gonna delete this. I'm not deleting the media, it's just a smart bin. If I wanna create a smart bin, I just select the search, type in Wayland, and then click on this button right here, 
and it's made that smart bin for me. Double click on that and it shows up. I can also view this if I want by icon view and I can also change the sorting information for that icon view. The list view is sorted based on the header that you've got selected, either ascending or descending based on that header. So when you're looking at the icon view, you need to have a sort view and you can use the same list view sort that you have, or you can use any of these other sort values. Now, one thing I, I do want to show you uh, a little gotcha here is when I saved a, a smart bin for car, I wanted all the interior shots of the car or exterior or driving shots of the car. Uh, the problem was it got card too. So some of these are card, some of them are car. And I currently couldn't figure out a way uh, to change that. If you right click on car and change edit search bin, uh, you can come in here and set search, but I, there's no uh, Boolean for not. It's and or, I can't put a not is card. Uh, you can search for metadata is car, and you can also have this applied to only a, a, a video clip or only to a certain video info um, that you've got on that clip. So there are ways of organizing this. So if we wanted to do Natalie now, type in Natalie, click on that, open that up, and let's confirm that's all Natalie shots right there. That's Natalie with anyone else in the, in the scene. So there you go. There's some easy tag sorting uh, techniques in Adobe Premiere Pro. Even though the, the word tag doesn't really appear a, as a feature in Premiere Pro, it's metadata. I just called it tags. I used text. Now, the, the only other thing I want to explain is that um, I wrote down here some of the camera shots. The metadata that you do have available is already very extensive. So if you wanted to uh, look for metadata, and if we open up the Premiere Pro category, um, you'll see media type is a sort, um, media info, in dynamic media, there's project information, video frame size, and you can see here camera angle as a, a possibility. So if we turn on camera angle and click OK, now we go over here to camera angle and twirl this down. You can see there are already some choices in here that you can fill this in. So I want to show you that if you just want to work with text-based tags, great. That's easy. But if you want to use some of the other media that's available inside Premiere Pro for sorting, you can use that in addition to. So I could be searching for Natalie wide shot uh, as the camera angle or a dolly move or a tracking shot and to have a specific clip for that. So a little bit of setting up uh, to begin with, but once you've got that set up, you can easily sort a vast array of media inside Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, there you go. Hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Reveal, please take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, get over on Patreon and support us for as little as one little dollar a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you organized and looking your best.